Hey everyone, my name is Ashley Hart from AshleyHairCafe.com. AshleyHairCafe.com is an online beauty store that I created. And I make custom made wigs. I have mink bundles, beautiful lashes, lip gloss, made for women. So make sure you go and check out my um, link below with my link for AshleyHairCafe.com. This video is my first YouTube video. So make sure you like and subscribe to my channel. And I'm gonna be telling you about my total experience with me going to get my teeth done by Dr. Mario Montoya in Cali, Colombia. I received a lot of DMs once Dr. Mario posted me on his website. I received a lot of DMs with a whole bunch of questions that you guys have for me. And I'm gonna make this YouTube video so I can answer you guys' questions and give you guys my experience when I went to go and visit Cali, Colombia and got my teeth done by Dr. Mario Montoya. So right now I have an, my assistant here with me to that wrote down a lot of you guys' questions that you have for me. And I'm going to be answering those questions right now. Hello, hello. Um, I think all the questions in your DM, people just wanted to know how your process went as far as um, going to Columbia. How was that? So my process so as far as going to Columbia, of course I had to get my passport. That's in South America. Um, I had to fill out an immigration form once I booked my flight. I had to fill out an immigration form, and once I got to the airport, they made sure you had the immigration form before you flew to your next plane to go to Cali, Columbia. So you have to make sure you have your immigration form filled out, or they, the, they won't even let you on your second plane. Wow. Um, what about uh, Dr. Mario office? How was that? Dr. Mario office was... It was nice. The whole, first of all, when you book um, and your consultation over online through Instagram with Dr. Mario, you pretty much talking to his assistant. But as far as the office, it was really nice. Oh my God, it was so cold. Cold in there. Like cold. I bought a blanket and I still was shivering. It was cold as hell in there. Cold. Oh, so you're not actually talking to Dr. Mario on Instagram, huh? No, I'm, I was not. You are not talking to Dr. Mario on Instagram. You're talking to his assistants that work for him. And they're pretty much, you know, giving you your quote, quoted prices and, yeah, booking your appointment with him. Um, no one in there really speaks English except for, like, one assistant. But as far as the office... You know, it was cold, and I, Dr. Mario, he was there. He was nice. And the assistant, I was speaking to the assistant, like, just one person that spoke English. Did you feel safe out there? Was it scary, or how did you feel when you was out there? Um, This was my first time actually flying out the country to South America. But, um, of course, I had all these things in my head or whatever. But... No, it was not. It was so safe. Dr. Mario made sure he sent, you know, he has like four drivers. Four. He made sure they was right there as soon as I got off the plane. They was holding a little sound with my name on there. Um, and I had already previously was talking to the driver that was going to be picking me up anyway um, before I made it there. So, I know he knew my picture. He knew how I looked because he was my friend on Instagram. But he had my photo. I had his photo. And it was pretty safe. He, We got in the car. He took me back. Matter of fact, I, I stopped. I asked him to stop and take me to this um, fried chicken place. Because I had to have me some fried chicken uh, before I made it back to my hotel. Aww. So, I got me some fried chicken and he drove me back to my hotel room. Wow. So, uh, what language do they speak out there in Colombia? What should I do to like be able to talk to people? Everyone speak Spanish everyone so I knew a little poquito Spanish but um, I had a Google I had to get a Google translator app on my phone and the Google translator app once you download that that actually works offline so you don't even have to be connected to the web 
or Wi-Fi uh, wi um, to use your Google Translator. You want to make sure you got that because everybody, everyone speaks Spanish. Oh, okay. That's cool. Um, So let's get started on the questions. The number one question is, everyone want to know is, how much did your procedure cost? And they also want to know, should they use bring cash or should they just use a credit card when they come to pay for their procedure? So my quoted price was um, pretty much $7,500. Um, I um, ended up paying $8,000. $8,000 um, because when I got there, like I said, you get a consultation and a base quote from, you know, his workers. But once Dr. Mario, you know, see what you need done, um, then that's when he, you want to make sure you at least have 1000 to 2000 extra dollars when you go and get your teeth done because that's just the base price. But, you know, once he checks and see everything that you need or, well, you know, then that's when the price go up. But don't go off of that quoted price that you know you was quoted because you weren't talking to Dr. Mario Montoya. You were talking to one of his assistants. So nine out of 10, he's definitely going to um, recommend that you need more work and it's going to actually cost you more than what the quote initially was, correct? Yes. Oh, okay. Yes. Okay, that's cool. So um, how long did it take for your particular procedure? My procedure? Uh, I was my procedure took six hours. Wow. Six hours. Six hours. Oh, that's not bad. And you said that it was very cold inside the office. I was cold for six hours. I was shaking for six hours with my blanket on me. Oh. Yes. Wow. Um, in Colombia, what hotel did you stay at? Um, I stayed. I booked. The NH Hotel, that's the name of it. The NH Hotel, Cali Columbia Resorts. And my hotel was actually six minutes from Dr. Mario Montoya's office. Wow, wow. Um, tell us about the hotel. Did it have a swimming pool, good restaurant? How was the food? The NH Hotel Resorts in Cali Columbia. It was so, first of all, it was so secure um, you can't even get on the elevator unless you have a room key. So you have to, the, the elevator will not move unless you have a room key. Um, I had a pool. It was so nice. Um, breakfast. Um, yeah, pretty much came with breakfast. The hotel room was really, really nice. Um, yeah, my, my hotel was the bomb, like the NH hotel. Wow. Six minutes from his office. It was nice. I had food, breakfast, dinner, lunch. I sat by the pool. Mm, it was everything. Oh, that's awesome. So back to the um, Dr. Montoya uh, procedure. Um, so did Dr. Mario do your teeth or was did someone else do your teeth? So that's like a two part. Um, someone else would actually did my teeth. But Dr. Mario came in, you know, he pretty much did the in-room consultation with me. Um, and I told him exactly what I wanted and everything. Um, he was so nice, so sweet. Um, but a lady did my teeth. Um, I, did, I don't even know her name, but um, she did my teeth. But um, after she, the six hour procedure, um, Dr. Mario came in and I asked him, you know, to do a little bit more contouring with me as far as, you know, shaving down my teeth. Um, and he did. So, Dr. Mario also did my teeth, too. Oh, okay. That's awesome. Um, did he tell you how long your veneers are going to last? So, I have composite and porcelain. Um, and he told me that my teeth last 10 years. 10 years. Oh, that's awesome. 10 years. Did he uh, give you any advice on how to keep good maintenance or what do you have to do to keep good maintenance for your veneers to last a long time? Um, so I do want to say, <laughs> Dr. Mario doesn't even know me like that, but the first thing he made sure he told me was, don't go home cracking no crab legs. <laughs> <laughs> and I just thought that was too funny because I love me some crab legs. But as far as the maintenance, um, 
I use, you know, he told me, you know, of course, floss every day. That's with anyone. Floss every day. Brush your teeth three times a day or more if you need to. Um, nothing that will stain the teeth. No coffee. Don't go down. Don't go home biting on the apple, you know, trying to, you know, pretty much crack or break your veneers or anything like that. But you definitely want to use some toothpaste that has no whitening in it no whitening toothpaste so right now i'm using crest toothpaste oh okay so overall you said that it was um you had a really safe experience um the hotel was great um the procedure was pretty smooth it wasn't so long so i guess when i go to see dr mario i would need a big coat to stay warm right you're gonna need a coat and probably it's, well, it's so hot over there though it's so hot oh my god it was so hot i pretty much got naked in my um my car with my driver but you want to make sure you got a coat and some thick um jogging pants on the some thick socks it was cold cold and then plus you're getting your teeth worked on you know your mouth is sensitive it's a lot of air cold air going in there but it's cold how long did it how long did it uh take for you to actually find something to eat or to eat after your procedure right after my procedure six hour procedure um because dr mario office is in a mall it's in a mall so right after my procedure he was like go and get you something to eat like go get you something to eat you know um and i went to go and get me some soft tacos y'all <laughs> Okay. I had me some soft top, soft shell tacos and some right margaritas, after that, and right. a margarita. Wow, yeah, you can't forget about those margaritas. No. Wow. Um. Wow. So you said the cost. So you ended up spending eight thousand dollars altogether. Was there any other things that they have to do to your mouth other than just connect your veneers? Um, I had a gap. And, um, so they did some gum contouring. They did some gum contouring. Um, what is gum contouring? Gum contouring, you know. Um, so they pretty much shave your gums down um, or cut your gums, you know, and then bring your veneers together. Um, so okay. that's what gum contouring is. And was that also painless? I didn't feel anything. Oh, okay. Did they give you any anesthesia before you got started? Of course. I I got anesthetics. Um, I didn't feel anything. The only thing that was pretty much irritating towards the um, six hours were, you know, just having my mouth open so long. Like, I didn't feel nothing, though. Oh, I didn't feel great. anything. Oh, okay. Um, so as far as payment concerned, do he, uh, do he accept cash or credit card? How would you experience as far as paying? Paying, um, so what? I paid back card. I paid back card. I was not, for my first time, I was not um, carrying all that cash with me to another country, um, going through immigration and everything like that. But I paid with card, and I actually did have um, trouble with my bank releasing my funds after the fact that before I went to Columbia, um, I went in the bank, talked to my tell, talked to the tellers and everything, and made them put notes in the system, letting them know that I was traveling to Cali, Columbia, and I still had issues. Mind you, um, service really kind of you know sucked in there as far as using my cell phone, so I had to use one of the receptionist cell phone, you know, to get on the phone and talk to my bank so they can release my money, and they did. So that was pretty much a ten minute process. Oh, okay, that's cool. Um, as far as uh, the airport, their airport in Columbia, uh, what advice should you give for people that's coming and going um, as far as their, their airport is concerned? Um, so I would make sure that you guys definitely have your immigration forms. I would make sure that you guys have service on your cell phone so that you can show, you know, that you have your immigration um, forms on your phone. I also will um, tell you guys that three, three, three hours, you need to be there before your flight goes off. Three hours. You need to be there three hours prior because anything can happen. You can run into anything. Um, 
and pretty much anything kind of did happen for me. So you want to make sure you be there three hours ahead of time. Like, y'all know how the devil works. So three hours prior. Um, and yeah, my experience was great other than... I had a great experience. So thanks again for watching my video. Make sure you like and subscribe and be on the lookout for frequent um, new items on my website. And I will be having a raffle going on on my website. So make sure you check down at the link below for my Instagram page at AshleyHairCafe.com. Same name. So check out the link below. I have everything you need to keep in contact with me. And make sure you be a part of our raffles at AshleyHairCafe.com. Thanks a lot. Oof. <sighs>